Hi, this is a book review on some of the Wendy Mass books. Rapunzel, A Mango Shaped Space, The Candy Makers, Eleven Birthdays, and Thirteen Gifts. And I will also be reviewing um, Finally Twelve, that will be right here. I'll explain that after Eleven Birthdays. Jeremy Thinking the Meaning of Life will go after Thirteen Gifts. And Every Soul a Star. So, I love Wendy Mass. She's my all-time favorite author. But, starting with Rapunzel, I was not overly excited with this. I stopped on page 59, actually. My bookmark is still in here. Sticky note. My book. Can't really see it. But I stopped reading it on page 59. Oh, see it now. It was just not exciting. Therefore, I haven't read the Beauty and the Beast. I haven't read any of her other Twice Upon a Time series. Okay. Enough with the bad. Now, all of these books are so amazing. I have never read anything so creative, especially this one. This one shows a ton of creativity. It's about this girl that sees numbers and words and shapes as a color. So let's say um, her brother Jason. I think her, his name was Jason. I'm not sure. But she sees his name as a light blue color. Like a baby bird, robin's egg kind of blue shade color and I think that's really amazing and up until third grade she thinks everyone sees that way and then she realizes that not everyone does and she goes through tons of adventures trying to figure out what she has how it can be fixed because she wants it fixed because in school she's struggling in math and reading because all the colors get jumbled up in her head so I highly, 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 highly recommend you read this book. It's amazing. Like, so, 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 so amazing. And if you read the book, you will understand the title. And within the adventures of her trying to figure out what she has and how she can get rid of it, there's a little romance. And within those adventures, a ton more adventures. So you should definitely read that one. Okay, here's a big one. The Candy Makers. See, it's one of her much larger books. Um, let's see how many pages. Um, about 450. Wait, 400 or 300? Oh, exactly 400 pages. You know what, I think this book shows a bit more creativity than Mango Shaped Space. It's about four kids that go to a candy factory and there's a game, an annual game, and they, it sees who can make the best candy. And about a week before they have to actually make the candy, they go through training. And each kid has their own point of view of it and he there's a girl and three boys once you read it you're like you think the girl she's a blonde haired girl she thinks you probably think normal school girl average whatever she's about the complete opposite of that and to find out what any of them are really like you have to read it and find out Definitely, probably my second favorite book of hers. This is just so amazing. Like, beyond amazing. I actually have three copies of this book. In case any gets damaged, like, I have a backup. I have three copies of that. And this is a big book, and all of them are hardcover, so... They are not cheap, but Wendy is so worth it. Okay, now, 11 birthdays, finally 12, and 13 gifts are all going to be kind of the same summary. 
11 birthdays is kind of a start. It's almost like a series, 11 birthdays, finally, and 13 gifts. It's hard to explain. These are, like, my first favorite. How I said the candy makers was my second favorite. I kind of morphed 11 birthdays, finally, 12 and 13 gifts because they're so connected, interconnected. It's, like, amazing how she connects them. But I kind of morphed all these together to make one book. And I call this my favorite book. It's the most amazing literature I have ever laid eyes on in my life. And I have read The Hunger Games. I have read the Rick Riordan, Wendy Mass So Beats Them. Okay, so now, hmm, what can I pretend? I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to pretend these Carl Hyacin books are other Wendy Mass books. Carl Hyacin also. Not as good as Wendy Mass. So, let's say this is Jeremy Fink and the Meaning of Life. Amazing book. Amazing, amazing book. I actually also have, I have four copies of that. And they're all, they are all with a friend right now. Um... It is about a boy who has the best father in the world. So caring. Always eat dessert first. YOLO. <laughs> Such a YOLO, YOLO man. And fortunately, he passed away in a car accident. And he finds a box with six keyholes. And on the bottom, of the box engraved says for Jeremy Fink, the boy's name, to open on his 13th birthday. And his 13th birthday is coming up. No one knows where the keys are. So they keep 